How far is that? Stop, stop, what, stop. What, 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 what? That was scary. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Danny from Yana Mines and today I'm at Ashfield Aggregate in West Drayton. I'm with Daniel, you've seen him a few times on my videos and previously you would have seen that we were talking about pushing a car with a truck. Now when we're in Dubai, I said listen, if you can get him over a certain amount of followers, I'll make him buy a golf. So when we get back, we'll make this happen. Let me see what you got. We have a car. Stay tuned, video coming soon. So click here to see the drama Daniel went through to get this golf and also me testing it out with some donuts in his yard. Subscribe to his channel because we're going to be doing so much content in the future. Fair play to him, he bought the golf, we've got his truck and we're going to push the golf with the truck. I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get into it, I want to do a special thanks to Raid Shadow Legends who are sponsoring this video. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new free mobile and desktop RPG game with amazing graphics. Six storylines, giant boss fights, PvP battles and hundreds of champions to collect and customise. Seriously, this game is crazy. If you try to ring me and I don't pick up, you know why. So you guys at home can compete against me and millions of other people around the world in a giant arena. Now is the perfect time to get involved as the highly anticipated battle pass is on. Season one is live and you can win valuable rewards including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. You can't always choose your friends but you could definitely choose your champions. That's what I personally like about this game. Some champions can be really good for battles and others can be used as food for your bigger champions. In Raid Shadow Legends, you can get champions from shards and the process of opening shards is so amazing. You'll never know what champion you'll get, an epic rare or even a legendary one. I got rare ones now and all these champions will be used for a campaign mode because I want to upgrade my in-game account ASAP and then I'll see what to do with them. But I think I like Mother Superior from the Sacred Order faction most of all. Come on, just look at her. It definitely makes sense. Now I'm 100% sure I don't want to sacrifice her. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description, click on the special links and you'll get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards and a free awesome champion, the Executioner. This package will only be available for the next 30 days. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, right, Jan, I was having a think and um, I think for authenticity is the word, I think you should sit in it when I'm pushing it. You sit in it and I'll drive the truck. You don't have a license. Because this, what we're doing is legal. <laughs> what we're doing is legal right now, yeah? We're on private property, just so you guys know, yeah? Yeah, we're on private property. We're not on a public highway. There's no one around and, uh, and we're an orange trainer. And we're in high visits because that's going to protect us. <laughs> so clearly we know what we're doing. But I think that Yanni should sit in it. I think that would be authentic. And then we can, well, no, we can't really swap. Do you know what? I don't mind sitting in it. My concern is, I get a lot of abuse for doing certain things. And at home, they were like, is he mad? It's dangerous. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, but we have to think of the entertainment value in all of this, Yanni. It's always about the entertainment value. Not when you've got two kids and like, they, they like their dad. Kids, should Yanni sit in it when I'm pushing it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, they love you, don't they? <laughs> all right, then. I guess, I guess I'll go in it then. Good luck getting home, boys. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's do it. All right, let me phone Daniel. All right, Jan. All right, so he's on loudspeaker. I don't know why, but I'm going to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I put my seatbelt on. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> I'm going to turn my engine on, yeah? You ready? Let's do this. <laughs> it's slow in it, so it's all right. Do we have contact? Now, now you got contact. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna try and give you a little bit of power, yeah? <laughs> the line is he's mad. Are you ready? Yeah. How was that? Scary, and the car didn't move. I'm gonna give it one more go, yeah? Go on Are then. you ready? Yeah. Go on then. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, go, just go. You'll know when I'm not, because I'll tell you. This is mad. 
All right. Now, I've got to tell you, Yanni. Yeah? I can see you on my... I can see you. Mate, this is scary, though. All right. Let me reverse up a bit. Let's just assess this, yeah? I'm going to reverse up a bit, yeah? How do you feel? The initial impact is quite, it's quite scary, yeah. yeah. But then when you're pushing me down the road, I'm not saying you feel comfortable because obviously you're on the move. But because you are stationed, you're flat, you're not yeah. worried about being flipped. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's I'm not gonna... as scary, I'll be honest. When we shot the original video and I was sitting in the Lambo and I was sitting a lot lower and my window's obviously really small, I felt a lot more scared. In this, once you've done impact and we were moving, I'm like, eh, all right, we're moving. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's flip it round, and I'll push you back that way. I was going easy, because I was trying to, you know, I was trying to wear you in a bit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put my foot down a bit more, and we're gonna pick up the speed. Okay, cool. Okay? All right. So turn it round, and I'll get this round. Are you gonna push you that way now? I'm gonna push you back that way. Okay, yeah? fine. So now we know that it does work, and it does move, yeah? Did your door open and close? Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I am. <laughs> Looking at your eyes, bro. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. And I'm using the front mirror, which shows where he is clearly. And we have contact. Go. Are you all right? Yeah, go. I'm going to give you a push. Oh, you're moving. Are you okay? Yeah, go. Go on, give it some speed. Go on, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, this is scary. And you, what are we doing? How much? 10 mile an hour? No, not even that. Not even that, really? Wow, so imagine doing 30 mile an hour in this. Yeah, that's quite... Can you clearly see me? I can clearly see you. Can you see me without the camera? Yes, I can. if I sit in my driving position, I can still see the car. All right. I'm stopping. I'm pulling, I'm reversing up, yeah? Yeah, go. Okay. Are you okay? I haven't even got a mark on it. Are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm nice. All right, I'm jumping out. Right. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You're good, yeah? I'm good, but at 30, listen, you said you weren't even doing 10 miles an hour. I wasn't even, I was doing about seven or eight miles an hour. At 30 mile an hour. No, no, no. I just wanted to test it, see if everything was all right. We should do it on the road now. With me in it. Bro, let's do it. Come on, let's just do it. I'm yeah? sure. Come on, let's just do it. Let's do it. We'll get out on the road, yeah? Come on then. Let's, let's get out on the road and do it. If you, just for um, any sort of uh, verification or sign off, I didn't actually answer your question. So if you like, Y Yanni of sound, body and mind decided to sit in the car. This wasn't my decision. I just, you know, I just went along with it because I'm a team player. Take it out there onto the road there, yeah? Let's go. All right, Yan, are you ready? Let's go. I'm coming in again for contact, firstly. I always worry about the window. That's what, that's what worries me the most. We have contact. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, stop, stop, stop. One second, let me go back. All right, go again. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you see me? I can see you. Yes, I can see you. How fast are you going? 20 miles an hour. How fast? 20 miles an hour. Oh, wow. But what I am going to say, Jan, I'm just going to put reverse. I felt a lot of resistance. Did Basically, you? Basically, it felt like the truck was coming to a halt by itself. I really had to put my foot down. I really had to put my foot down to keep moving. 
and the truck it was like the truck wanted to stop by itself if i didn't really give it to it it would have stopped so you know interesting interesting should we give it another go uh <laughs> further down go on one more go go on Jan? Yeah, you ready? Am I ready? Yes, said the man on the phone. Jan, look what you've done to my mirror. I know. Okay. Better. Fixed. Are right, you ready? Get ready. So why I do this, just because obviously I'm worried about the window. People are like, why don't you put the window down? But I actually don't know why I'm not putting the window down. But anyway. Go on in. We have contact. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, just go. Go, 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 go. Get it up, get the speed up, get the speed up. That's scary, man. <laughs> what, 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 what? How fast was that? I started going about 30, you told me to. <laughs> I know, but wow, that was quick. Why you don't shout? You, you made me get scared, I stopped. <laughs> you made me get scared, I stopped. Why are you shouting? I'm being pushed by a truck, that's why I'm shouting. That was scary. That was, um, yeah, that, was, that felt fast. That felt mad fast. What I will say, I really had to put my foot down there. Ordinarily, when you're driving the truck, you put your foot down and you know you need a certain amount of pressure to move forward. If the car wasn't in front of me and I put my foot down, I would have been going a hell of a lot faster. I could definitely feel there was resistance. 100% there was resistance, I felt him. Um, looking in my mirror here, I could see him, but in my driver's seat, I could also see the top of the car as well. I could see the top of the car from about here. From about this point, I could see the top of the car and there was massive resistance. Like this is a really powerful truck. And I was basically kind of stopped in my tracks. Is it possible that a truck driver can push a car down the road and not be aware? Okay, maybe not see it, but not feel the resistance like you've just said. You would feel it after a while. You would feel it. Initially, imagine you're on the motor where you're doing full speed. Yeah. Your foot is down and you're at full speed already. Yeah. If you're at full speed already, it would be a different scenario. But the resistance that you're facing, you would have to give the truck so much more power to stay at that speed that eventually you would notice. However, if you were looking in your mirror, you would see it straight away. So, the overall summary where we, why we shot this video originally and why we spoke about this originally is, is it possible that a truck driver can push a car down the road without the truck driver being aware? Is it a yes or a no? And listen, I know you've got to wear your, your truck and your company hat, okay? No, it's not a company hat, it's a transportation hat. Okay, fine. I, I would say that momentarily, momentarily it could happen, but without other, you would know long before any other road users told you. If you remember the video, people who were driving down the side saying, you got a side. car, you got yes, a car. Yes, and you didn't realize. I would say that it could happen momentarily, briefly in an accident, but then I believe the truck would know straight away. And to the driver. Yes, and the driver. To continually drive and not feel it, I don't think that would be possible, unless you weren't paying attention, for lack of a better term. Right, Jan, a little bit about truck driving. The mirror which I always refer to, can I have your attention please? The mirror which I always refer to is this one. Now, you tell me, can you see the goal? It's there, <laughs> it's huge, you can't miss it. It's like- Okay, don't sit forward, sit in your normal driving position. I'm yeah. not gonna sit there. Okay, all right. Can you see the golf without your mirror? If I'm looking dead straight, in my, is it peripheral? See, now, now. Very now slight to... to the corner, but if I'm looking dead straight and I'm just driving along, no, I'm, I'm not looking. So you've, you're, you're, answering, you're, you're answering your own question. If I'm driving like this, yeah, yeah. with my eyes straight and I'm looking ahead, no. But the minute I do any sort of, any, anything with my head, if I turn to look, yeah, anywhere, you can see the top of the car. You can see half, half the roof. Check your mirror. Yeah, it's clear though. It's clear as anything, the mirror. Does, does every truck have those mirrors? It should do. Uh, basically, the rules, the rules have it that these trucks are in London, around central London. I'm not sure um, further up the country 
but down here, as far as I know, all Hauliers have got this. I, 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 just, I, can't, I can't see how you can't see the car. So um, you, I understand, so, so. if I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm doing my best not to look down. I'm looking, so, I'm looking at the, the gate so far ahead, yeah, and I'm looking up. You, you don't just look you, look, you do look around there. So any sort of low, my, my corner of my eye is giving the car away yeah, to you me. You don't just look straight ahead, you look around when you Yeah, but, that's what I'm, but I'm, try, I'm trying to be fair. To be like, okay, let's say he's, con he's on the motorway, just concentrating forward. At some point, you're going to look at that mirror, you're going to look at that mirror, and you're going to look, and you're going to see it. You can't miss it. And the car is black, so I get it. It makes it a little bit harder to see, especially this is black as well, but... Broad daylight, though. You answered the question. No, I believe that you answered the question. <laughs> see, that's what it's like to sit there and get asked that question. Let me be Yanni for a, for a second. Is it possible for a lorry driver like yourself, Yanni, to be able to push a car down the road and not know it's there from a visual point of view? Nothing to do with power from a visual point of view. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. If you're just looking dead straight and you're... In a car, you have to look around, in a lorry even more. So you, for a split second, second, two seconds, three, four seconds maximum, but not for the amount of time he was pushing the car down the motorway or down the A40. Nah, I don't, I don't believe it's possible. Even for a brand new driver, inexperienced driver, no, it's not possible. And as you said, there's resistance. And I get it, if you hit the car at speed, you'll get a little bit, but you just might be just like, oh, what's that? And then just continue pushing it down. What, what I will say is when I, when I was pushing, I had to really give it to her. Yeah. Like it, it, it felt heavier than it shouldn't do. It felt heavier than pulling a load behind. Like it was really. Because you're pushing, aren't you? You? Understand, if you understand, for instance, the gearbox in a truck, it works out the load. It works out the load I've got to know the gear to yeah. select. That felt completely different to anything else. It's on the front. It's on the front, and I, and I felt it. And I had all the windows up, and I could hear those tires screeching. Yeah. Like the tyres were really loud. And on top of that, I could hear you screeching as well. Screeching or screaming? No! <laughs> okay. Nice. On that note, for myself, Daniel, and my scuffed up truck, and yeah, my fine. lovely golf, what Yanni is going to wrap as a gesture. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed this video.